Norman gets the message loud and clear. Next time, try a telephoto lens. Adult seals keep natural holes open by scraping the ice-crusted rims with their powerful claws located in the two front flippers. If a hole freezes over, a seal just moves on to another hole, often sharing it with other seals. This hole seems to be just about right. But for some of the other seals, it's more scraping and more scraping and even more scraping. Well, that's it. The scraping job is over. Or is it? Observer or critic, whatever, this hole is in good shape. But a dramatic scene is taking place here. A fat little pup is swimming around in an ice hole, ill-equipped because of weight and inexperience to scramble up and over the steep, slippery rim. slips into the water to give a hefty shove from underneath, but without success. the pup looks weaker and more exhausted. It seems barely able to keep his head above water. But the pup hasn't given up yet, and mother may not be turning away here, but trying to encourage the pup to follow her. Will it work? Yes, the pup is free, scrambling across the ice, passing this difficult survival test with flying colors. Fierce winter storms sweep across the bleak white desert in a final blustering rage, before the returning sun and the warm winds of spring begin to melt the ice in the frozen gulf waters. With its flippers tucked under its body to conserve heat and all that insulating blubber, which now comes in quite handy, there is nothing much a pup can do but wait out the storm, move around a little, and hope it doesn't get lost or separated from its mother.
the storm is over and a hardy little pup begins to scrape snow and ice from its face and eyes. Other pups and their mothers nearby have weathered the wintry blast and begin to search for each other. Two pups, alone and hungry. One may belong to this female harp seal. Once again, the cry and the scent bring mother and pup together. And mother demonstrates an effective way to lure her pup away from the other pup in the background. Every time the young seal approaches the mother to nurse, the mother rolls over or moves away, until eventually an appropriate distance has been established. When the pup has been fed, mother slips back into the water. Not much time left now. The 10 day nursing and training period is almost over. It's been a cold but relatively healthy and safe habitat for these baby seals. No polar bears, killer whales, or Greenland sharks to fear. Only man, the hunter, and he has not passed this way. Any day now, the white coats will be entirely on their own. Male harp seals, who have been waiting in the water nearby, now appear on the ice pans and pursue the females, who begin to abandon their pups. Harp seals, it seems, make no permanent mating bonds. No harp seal pup knows its father. on the ice or in the water, possibly during the adult's annual swim to a more northerly molting site. signs of bloody encounters. This pup, who looks almost too fat to move, is one of the last pups to be weaned.
In another week or so, the abandoned pups will look quite different without their distinctive white coats. They will have stiff brown fur or hair and be called ragged jackets. Late in April, the pups will mysteriously make their way to the adult molting sites to prepare for the 5,000 mile journey to Arctic waters. And the deserted ice pans will begin to break up in the Gulf of St. Lawrence until the return next year of the harp seals of the Northwest Atlantic. And if any part of the fur becomes dirty, the air escapes along with body heat and the animal may die of pneumonia. <laughs>